slide three. So you would click on this insert media clip again and whatever song you want to put in there. Um, let's see, I want to put set apart there. So again, it's going to ask me if I want to do it automatically or when clicked. Automatically seems best to me. So I'm going to drag it, make it up to the full size of the screen. Play full screen. Then those two are done. So now I'm going to slide 15, which is blank. So I need to go over here and say, okay, there's another song that needs to be at slide 15. So I double click on that. Insert media. Ta insert media. Okay, I want to do just do it. So double click on that automatically. Make it big. Okay, play full screen. So now, what's slide 16? Slide 16 is the Santa hat dance. So I'm just going to do the same thing. Now the Santa hat dance isn't in this set of this folder. So I need to go to Dropbox. Santa hat dance is in songs round two folder. So I'm going to do that. Go to Santa hat dance. Double click on it. Automatic. Make it fill up the slide screen, the whole thing. Play full screen. So what you're going to do is you're doing this for every blank spot that you see. Now let me show you what happens on your computer. Um, when you start the PowerPoint show, it's going to be here. When you need to go to the countdown video, all you would do is press over. You could hit the space bar and it's going to start playing that countdown video. Now at the end of it, it's just going to stop. So if I want to go to the song, I would have to press over again. So it's going to start that song. So now it's playing that song. At the end of the song, it's going to just stop, and you're going to start the, um, you know, the whole rules, and you're going to start following, sit up straight, all that. On my, on my computer, I put a, um, a volume control, and I know it's it's like twenty bucks. It's on uh, it's on the internet. It's a, uh, I can tell you the if you need it. It just helps you be able to bring certain things down and certain thing, you know, if you want a song to be louder, you can make it louder. But, you know, if, I don't know if you're going to need to do that. Okay, so, then you're just filling in the, the you know, every blank spot. You're going to tell it what thing you want there. This is the Santa hat dance again. And you just have to go through this process of putting that song or whatever it is to that screen. Okay, so 17's done. What's 19? 19 is another song. Okay, let me show you what the, the black light looks like. Okay, black light is slide 36. So I'm going to, now this one, I don't know, I, I, did, I did something different on this one, I guess. So it says there isn't one of those icons, so I need to go to insert. And on here, it just called a movie. Movie from file. Okay, now I need to go to Dropbox. And I need to go to lesson 45. And there's the black light story for this lesson 45. Automatically fill up the screen, play full screen. So when you get to the, the black light story, it's just going to play that for you. So it seems pretty easy to me, but you know, I've been doing this for a while, so I would say you can still run 
you can still run your uh, your computer with the remote control and what I would do is since you're still running the computer into a DVD recorder you could queue up the movie clip on the DVD have it ready to go so that when you get to that point in the in the program you just hit play and you're going to run the um, you know the the length of time 10 minutes worth of uh, a video. It won't have the end where it repeats, but it'll have, you know, you'll be able to do that and uh, show that video. Okay? So I'm hoping this helps you make sense of all this. And um, if you have any other questions, just don't hesitate to call me and uh, we'll make this happen. Okay, guys? Cool.